Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I get my Effortless Flawless Foundation Routine. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Alright, so starting off with foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Natural Tan. And I'm just going to take that on with my... You know what? This brush is so loved, I don't even know what this is. But I know it's a it cosmetic foundation brush and it has a flat top like this and you can only get it at Ulta this specific brush so what I like to do I like to shake it up because I do keep it in my makeup bag and it's usually on its side so it kind of settles and then I just apply directly to my face one pump here one pump there and then I just even well I just try to evenly disperse it I really like this brush because it really gets in everywhere and then it covers really quickly like if you like full foundation medium foundation you just want to get want to spread your foundation around without using too much i can't see anything this is a really good brush i recommend it i'm not really big on sponges because my skin is not the best as you can see i really like this it just it really disperses everything really nicely and it doesn't soak up too much product my foundation routine really does not take that long mostly because i just i've been doing the same routine over and over it's just it's so quick to me now i'm gonna take one more pump and then do it across my forehead. Try to be as careful as I can without messing up my brows. And slowly get the sides. And this is my worst part right here, the middle. So I try to be very gentle as possible. And that's about it. I just drag it. My blemishes are really just poking out I, like this one. It's just like a mark. I will take my foundation and just go over it a little bit one more time and just spot conceal it as much as possible. I'm just focusing it in the one area. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer in the shade sand so i just twist it up and then start placing like triangles underneath my eyes and i try not to go in too heavy because i did already put foundation underneath my eyes i just want enough that it's going to be concealed and brightened and this feels like a lot i already know it feels like i put on a lot but i am going to disperse it along the face. I'm just going to leave this on my face for about an, a minute, let it kind of sink in so it makes it easier to blend out. All right, so to blend out the concealer, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, the one that looks like this. And then I always start with my chin first because I don't like too much product to go on my chin. And then I work my way up to my under eyes. I like to go closer to the nose first and then work my way over from the outer and then under my eyes. And then I'm going to do the same for the other eye. This process really doesn't take that long, like a few seconds really. Then I'm just going to finish with my forehead. And after that, I like to go in with any type of banana powder, but right now I am using the Ulta Press Setting Powder in the shade Banana. <laughs> And I'm going to use my Lexi 660 Precision Foundation Brush. And I really like this one to apply under eye powder because it really packs in that powder. 
and I want my under eyes to look as silky and smooth as possible so whenever I get that smooth texture that's when I just stop applying powder and then I will apply it just a little bit to my chin and then my forehead I like to powder my forehead a lot more than the rest of my face because that is where I tend to get oily throughout the day so after I finish setting my concealer I go in with my face powder I use the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth 240 Golden Beige and I take my Real Techniques powder brush and I just really just swirl it in here because I, I need this to be very brown and then I just apply it all over the face where I applied the concealer as well so it kind of meshes into one tone I like to heavily set my forehead because like I said that is where I get the most oily throughout the day and then I did learn this trick from Doja Cat. She said to set your your eyebrows with powder so they don't get shiny. That's mostly it for the base. After I'm finished powdering, I go in with my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. And I take a Real Techniques blush brush. And I use that all over my face. And then I pretty much just load up my brush. So to bronze, I usually like to start at the top of my cheekbone right here and disperse most of the product up to the temples of my forehead and then slowly work it up to the front so, so it's not too harsh and i'm going to tap onto my forehead i like to start on the outer perimeters right here so it's pretty even as i go and then for my forehead, I don't use as much powder. I just do about two taps, brush it off. It can get overdone really quickly. So I like to keep a light hand and just dust sideways and like this way. My eyes are pretty bright. I think I do want to highlight underneath my eyes. And I take my Kylie Cosmetics setting powder in the shade soft pink and I'm going to use the Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush and I'm just going to lightly dust that underneath my eye. I like this brush for looser powders because it doesn't pack on as heavy and it's very light and loose. So I'm not baking I'm just quickly setting it and then I'm going to brush it off. I just want the effect of brighter under eyes and i really like this pink color because it brightens up better than banana powder like it gives you that kardashian eye pretty much I'm just gonna bring it down to as far as where i put the concealer and i'm gonna do the same for the other eye i'm just going to take my powder brush once again with no added powder and just lightly pack it into my eye and dust I'm gonna pack and dust, mostly dusty motions. Sometimes if I feel like my under eyes are too bright, I will just go in and then fill it with faux freckles. Well, I really just enjoy the look, so I'm gonna do that anyways. I can just go in with any brown pretty much at this point. I'm using the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette, and I'm going to go into the shade right here, Moody. This is what I usually use, so that's why it's pretty beat up. And so I'm using that with a Morphe M217 brush. It's just a bent eyeliner brush. So I just dip the brush into the powder a few times and then I just start dotting it onto my face. And uh, it's just, it's really easy. There's no pattern to it. I just start to dot and I like to take it a little bit up closer to my brows and then bring it down. I do like to smile sometimes so that that way I can see where it's going. All right, and so for blush, I'm going to use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Shadow in the shade Between the Sheets. I'm going to take that on my ring finger, and as I rub it, it pretty much just heats up with my natural body temperature. And I like to tap it off first so it's not too intense, and then I go in on the side of my nose first. And then I work it onto the bridge of my nose. And I do want to focus most of the 
blush on my cheeks. This might be a lot of pink, but it's okay. So for this part, I do like to smile. So I'm not looking all sorts of crazy. Usually I do this with a neutral face, but I feel like being really colorful today. And then I, I do feel like my nose is too much, so I will just pat that in and then try to work it throughout my face. Then I'm going to take my powder brush one more time and then just go over the blush a few times just to kind of make it look like it's my actual skin peeking through because that way it makes the freckles also look real like it's poking through a flesh face. So I like it's not I feel like it's not too much and then to highlight i'm just going to take that color pop palette i'm going to take the shade wink wink and use that just to highlight the tip so for lips i'm going to keep it pretty neutral i'm going to take the dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade cork and i'm going to take the milani amore satin matte lip cream in the shade lavish all right, so this is the finished look. If you like how it came out, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.